Welcome to another wonderful time with God on glorious morning shower. We thank God every day for His mercy, His love, His compassion that are new every morning. The word for your shower today is understanding God's time. There is time for everything, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 says, and a season for every activity under the heaven. Everything on earth has time. Time to be born, time to die. You see, the purpose of God for every man's life is attached to the timing of God. Most of us run into trouble by trying to create our own time, neglecting God's time. I don't know what your wristwatch is saying at the moment. I don't know what the clock in your house, perhaps your office, could be saying or where you are at the moment. Yes, it might correspond with your timing on the phone, your clock on the phone, or your time zone, but that is not the time of God. God does not measure time the way we humans measure time. If not, how could he say a thousand years is a day in my sight? And a day in our own sight is like a thousand years. That is to let us know that the parameters that give birth to our timing system is not of God. We are not saying it's evil, but God does not work with our timing. And it is imperative that you know this. Very important. Now, when Ecclesiastes chapter 3, from verse 1 to 11, 12, emphasize about timing time to rise time to fall time to fight time to laugh time to celebrate time to mourn all those timing explained there is not god's time god's time is different now John chapter 2, verse 4 says, That was when Jesus turned water into wine. We know the story very well. Now, Mary came to Jesus to let him know that the wine of the party has been exhausted. Now, look at the response of Jesus to his mother. He said, Woman, how does this concern us? Why are you troubling me? According to King James Version. My hour has not yet come. You see? That is what God wants you to understand on glorious morning shower today. Now, to the mother of Jesus, who know whom his, her son is? Miracle walking child, covenant child that was not conceived by human. He, she knows that Jesus was not an ordinary man. So she approached thinking that all time is his time. And after he put Jesus under pressure to do something, Jesus refused. 
on the condition that that was not his time. That is to tell you that our time is not God's time. And that is what God wants you to understand today. God's time is not your time. As we progress in this month, the Lord will expose us into understanding or how to discern God's time. How to discern God's time. You see, let me show you another scripture again. Luke chapter 19 verse 44. It says, Luke 19, 44. Now, here it is. And shall live be even with the ground, and thy children within thee, and they shall not live in thee one stone upon another. That is God rebuking. You see? He said, Because thou knowest not the time of thy visitation. Now, this is a rebuke to a group of people that have missed the time of God. You see, this will happen to you because you have refused to discern the time. So, this is to tell you that you don't just joke about your time because your time could pass and you don't know. A story was told about a young man that ran to the train station and asked, please, when is the train taking off? They say, 8.01. That was what they told him. And he looked at his time. He said, this is 7, 7, 58. I still have some time. So this is my ticket. I want to board. And he looked at his time and he looked at the time on the wall. And it corresponds with his time. And the ticket man said, sorry, it is late. The train has taken off. He said, no, look at the time. He said, that is your time. Our time now, he's saying 808, meaning we have gone. What does that imply? It's the time in your hand could be correct to you. But that does not mean that the one that God has appointed. So may we not miss our time. And for us not to miss our timing, we must align with God's appointed time. And that's why we talk about Kairos. God's appointed time. Remember the rebuke of Jesus again in the book of Luke chapter 12 verse 56. He said you can discern whether. You see, like what happened to Jesus. They could discern the star that this star was the star of Jesus. But they couldn't discern their own timing of visitation. Why? Because in some part of Jerusalem today, they are still expecting the Messiah to come. They didn't believe that he has come and gone. They are still waiting. That is what God is talking about. May you not miss your own time of visitation in the mighty name of Jesus. That is the word of God to you this morning on Glorious Morning Shower. I will advise that you go meditate on this word all through today. God, how do I get to know your timing? Ah, may I not miss my time that you have allocated to me in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. It's a new day for you. And may the day end glorious for you in Jesus' name.